welcome back to Sampaholics Anonymous. I I can hardly see the my nail space because I have this big giant um, beautiful beautifully wrapped uh, package here. Uh, so this video today is going to be a unboxing <laughs> slash fan mail. Can you say that? I don't know. Uh, slash haul video. I have a bunch of stuff from Creative Shop that I want to show you. Um, and then I have some exciting polishes to share with you guys. And first up we have this awesome box. It came to me from Miriam. That is one of you guys. Uh, she lives in the Netherlands and she was telling me that she was having issues with a stamper that she had and she couldn't find a good one. So I sent her one over and um, last weekend when I was, um, you know, uh, in the middle of the mud at the festival, um, she just popped me an email and said, hey, here's a tracking info for you. I just sent you something. And I'm like, oh my god. I was like literally on a metal festival <laughs> in the middle of like a hardcore um, metal concert basically and uh, I almost started bawling my eyes out because um, this like touched me so much and I really didn't expect anything in return because um, I really I, I just wanted to help her out I you know Miriam I just wanted to do something for you and help you you know with your stamping and stuff because I enjoy it so much and I want other people to like it so Thank you for whatever is in this box, and I gotta say, I love this wrapping paper. I actually have um, one of my helmers that is downstairs um, at my like uh, computer desk. Um, I have another helmer, not for storing nail polish, but for storing actual like you know stationery and stuff. And I glued this exact same um, <laughs> wrapping paper onto that helmer to make it look more pretty. Um, I have it in black and white and my helmer now looks pretty. And this package looks amazing and I'm kind of thinking about how I'm going to save some of this paper but I probably won't be able. This can hardly like fit under my camera space. <laughs> um, so I don't really know how we're going to go about this. I have some scissors here very professionally. If this fails, I'm gonna try and get like an exacto knife or something. So let's try to open this. I almost got it. Oh, I almost got it. Oh. Hold on. Yes, here we are. Okay, more pretty wrapping paper uh, on top of this box and we are going to take the lid off. Ooh, bubble wrap. I love me some bubble wrap. Okay, there's a letter. I'm not gonna show that to the camera. I'm just going to read it and cry, probably. Ah! Look at this pretty picture. It's from my favorite town, Paris. Paris is my all-time favorite city in the world. I just love Paris. I think that in a former life, I used to live in Paris, even though I don't speak any French at all. But I love the city, and um, I love these like vintage photographs of Paris. So I'm just going to do a quick read of this. So sweet! Okay, first up we have sweets. Oh, yes! Yes! Um, Dutch sweets are the best thing. And these like minty things, I love them. I just love them. And I hope that this is licorice because I love licorice. I've been eating licorice all day at the office. Oh, wow. Oh my god, and there's so many little things in here. And she put notes on her. Miriam, you shouldn't have. Like, really, you shouldn't have. This is like... You're going to make me cry on camera and I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so this one says, isn't it cute for cleaning after nail art? I don't know. Let's find out. I am actually crying. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a little lint roller. Like this, I use this size too because um, you know when you want to clean up your stamper or something, these like little mini travel size ones are the best thing to do. It you know they're easy to put on your desk. They don't fall over. They don't you know they are big and bulky, and you can do like tiny cleanups when you just want to pick up um, a part of an image. And these are perfect for that. So thanks. I will make use of this like all the time. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, we got another thingy. Ooh, macaroon hand cream. Let me smell it. Oh my god, if it smells like a macaroon, I'm probably gonna want to eat it. Oh my god. Oh, ooh, it's sealed for my protection. Let's put more light here so we can actually see what's going on. <clears throat> yes, it does smell amazing. Oh. 
Oh my god, macaroon and cream. I love it. And it's, ooh, it's nice. Ah, oh, it's nice. It's very nice. Thank you, Miriam. Nothing like a good hand cream. I use, <laughs> like, um, I have a bunch of different hand creams, like, in my little um, container at work because I, like, put it on every other minute, basically. So, let's look at the else. Okay, it says Ici Paris Parfumerie, which is French and, I don't know, some French parfumery. You let me know, girl, if I pronounced that wrong or right. I was like so surprised when the mailman rang. Um, like it, it's really late in the evening, and I wasn't expecting, you know, anybody to ring my doorbell. Um, the cats got scared. <laughs> and I was like, "What is going on?" And then he delivered this like beautiful package, and I was so happy. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, it's called losing sleep. That's my life right now, and it's a beautiful like ah. Uh, it again, my camera isn't showing this. Is this? Um, shows up on camera more like a electric blue, but it's actually more like a beautiful um, navy blue, not dark navy, but navy, and I'm actually gonna... Oh, there we go. It looks very promising. I will do swatchy swoos of this. Good. Okay, next up we have this one. Bought a lot of color clubs for this one. There was a dupe. See Instagram. Oh! Love this kind of polish on textured polishes. Ooh, intriguing and color pop. I don't eat own a single color pop polish because they're hard to come by. And she packaged everything so nicely. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, I didn't expect anything in return. I just wanted to do something for you and wanted to help you. You know, because. I love stamping your nail polish so much. Oh my god. It's an actual freaking color club polish. Where did you get this? It's like, you're making me cry. Oh, this is so pretty. It has hollow in it. And it's called, it's a top coat. It's called Starry Temptress Top Coat. Oh my god. It's a hollow, like, hollow top coat with golden glitters in there. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Oh, you're making me cry. I got it. Huh. Okay, next up we have Love This Color. I have the same from... Oh, Primark. I've tried some Primark polishes that I loved. Um, I, shown you, I showed you like those iridescent ones um, that I hauled like a while ago. And I really liked them. I really did. I enjoyed them. Okay. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, and it, this one isn't from Primark. It's from Claire's. Um, and, well, it's been a while since I've been to a Claire's because they're not, like, that common here. It's called Metallic Dark Berry. I used to go to Claire's religiously, religiously, when I lived in the States, you know, when I was in high school. I spent, like, half a year there, um, in the beautiful state of Iowa, in the middle of nowhere. So going to Claire's in the mall was, like, the highlight of my life there. Um, I did spend a lot of time at Claire's. Um, I did get my ears pierce it clear so I kind of have like um, you know nostalgic uh, nostalgic feelings about this so this is like a color shifting metallic thingamabob going from green to purple there's gold also in here and I, yeah like I said it's metallic so yes yes I like I like I like I like good and then we have this one it says my favorite brand, it's a pity, it's so you know, it's Europe, yes, the matte collections uh, and especially the light shades are very special. Ooh, is this a new to me brand? Is that even possible? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I sent a picture, I texted a picture of this box to my husband and he said, it's not even Christmas yet, why aren't you getting gifts? Oh well. Okay, bye. By wrapping paper. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a freaking Zoe polish. I can't believe it. Oh my god. It's so hard to buy Zoe in, in like Europe at all. It's like 
next to freaking impossible to buy Zoya polishes here. Um, I only managed to get like three minis. Um, and oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so, I can't wait to turn this on. So this is Leah, and it's a satin matte finish, you know, from the bottle. I know everything about Zoya, but I can't get my hands on them. And I, I really wanted, like, the, the summer collection they put out. Um, and I've, you know, thought about buying it on eBay in the States or something. But that's ridiculously expensive. And then, just like OPI, OPI is so freaking expensive here in Europe. They charge you... And I'm not kidding you, 17 euros, you can convert that to your own currency in your own time, 17 euros per bottle for a bottle of OPI at, you know, regular price at the drugstore, <clears throat> at like the fancy drugstore where you can get it. And Zoya is like next to impossible to get, and the only places I've seen them were like in the UK, um, and they are like, they are expensive. Oh God, thank you so much, Miriam. This is like my first full-size Zoya that I own and I will cherish it and, and love it forever and it will have a special place on my nail racks. Okay, another Ici Paris. Ah, Ici Paris, so that is what up. Uh, huh, Ici Paris Perfumerie. That's what um, was on the other note. Ici Paris, huh, made in France. Okay, a uh, bit strange in the bottle, but I like the color a lot. <laughs> A lot of things look like really weird in the bottle and then you're like, oh my god, yes, I want to put this on. Oh, and it's a teal. You guys how much I, uh, you know, you know how much I, I can't, words, not possible. Uh, how much I love teal polishes. You know, I went cuckoo over that um, um, pure ice polish that Ilza sent me in my makeup order. <laughs> um... Yeah, so this is another gorgeous teal polish. It's called Miami Vice. That's funny, isn't it? Um, yes, and I can't wait to try this one out. I think they are both creams. The other one, the navy blue one I showed you, is also a cream polish. Ooh, very promising. Oh, God, yes. Yes! 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 And then we have one last little little bitty thingy here. I love some cheaper as Essence, yes. And Miss Sporty. This is a great, vibrant color and a good quality. Oh, wonder if she hand wrote all these sweet notes and I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep each and every one of these notes. Okay, and she wrapped them up so nicely. <laughs> oh, oh, so beautiful, Miss Sparty. Um, I may have heard of this brand, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's another um, like. This one is this the color that this one looks like on camera. Kind of weird, I know, but believe me when I say that. <laughs> so this is another gorgeous blue shade, a little lighter than the other one we looked at. Ooh, and a very promising cream polish formula. Love it. Oh, God, you guys. I'm so excited. This is like, this just made my day. And I'm so happy. I'm so... Like, Miriam, you really, you, you didn't have to do this, um, but you did it anyway, and this came as a complete surprise to me. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Miriam. Thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, very much. I'm going to enjoy the sweets. I'm going to enjoy all of the beautiful polishes. Uh, I will, you know, pop this macaroon hand cream into my handbag, like, ASAP, um, and the little lint roller is... You know, it's just so useful and thoughtful of you to do this. Like, very, very nice of you. So, <clears throat> let me try to compose them myself, and then I shall show you the other things that I have in this little haul video. All right, you guys, I have uh, composed myself a bit, and of course I had to play around with the polishes, so I just go, and I just put on this gorgeous top coat, this hollow top coat from Color Club, which is called... Starry, starry temptress top coat, and it actually goes like really, really well with this um, pistachio uh, colored uh, uh, girly bits polish. Wow, I can't talk. Um, that I have on because this one also has like a bunch of like golden shimmer in there. So this like gold and hollow um, shimmer top coat 
went very very nicely with it. I will have to apply another top coat because it dries, you know, it's glitter, haha, <laughs> it dries a little textured. But anywho, I am more composed as you can hear. <clears throat> And I have, like I said, I have some new Creative Shop plates to share with you guys that I, you know, hinted or alluded at in uh, my latest uh, favorites video for July. And then I have some polishes of a new to me brand um, that actually some of you, one of you guys pointed me to. Basically, so let's look at these creative shop plates. They just came out with I don't know uh, 20 20 or something new plates and I, I It wasn't long uh, Since they last released new plates I remember that very well because I started selling creative shop on my my online store here um, When they came out with the new plates um, and that was like at the beginning of this year or in March or something So it hasn't been that long since they put out new plates, but I'm happy that they have more plates out because I always love uh, Creative shop plates. I didn't get all of them. I just chose the ones that I liked the most. So first up we have creative shop 75 and of course you're going to be seeing swatches of all of these plates um, in the very near or not so near future um, and I am currently running out of battery so I'm going to run you through this one and then change the battery real quick. So this is creative shop 75 and this one is like pop art themed. We have all of these images that look like Roy Lichtenstein um, comic style pop art images. Alrighty, next up we have Creative Shop 78 and this one is themed around love and marriage and all that stuff. Um, so there's like a bunch of diamond rings and then hearts and uh, people holding hands, I love you. There's some cute doggies cuddling. Um, yeah, and there's also some things that you can use like for a baby shower mani. If you're into those kind of things. <laughs> so I really love like the cute love images because you know you can use them for Valentine's Day or I don't know for all kinds of purposes that have to do with love. <laughs> okay next up we have Creative Shop um, 80. This one is themed around. They are actually themed. I'm just now realizing this. This is like the first first kind of like one of the few times where creative shop plates actually like make sense together I've been you know talking you through these two plates and I'm only now just realizing that for once they sort of stick to one theme on a plate um, because sometimes you will get like a bunch of uh, different um, types of images on a creative shop plate that don't go you know a hundred percent together <clears throat> but are like cute and very creative hmm? um, Nevertheless, so this one is themed around um, environmental protection uh, and saving the planet and being good to Mother Earth and um, You know saving animals and water and um, I kind of like that There's uh, a lot of things that you can use on this uh, plate Apart from the butterflies, but you know, you can't just go out uh, and, and order uh, Creative Shop Plate 80 but without the butterflies, please. They don't do that, so I have to make do. But I really like that, you know, there's some cool uh, catchphrases on here that, you know, are good for Earth Day or, you know, all kinds of purposes. Goody, next up uh, we have a Creative Shop 84 and this one is sort of like a beachy summery theme. <laughs> I already see like my favorite image on here. This is like cute little bunny riding the inflatable unicorn. <laughs> that is freaking cool. I love it. And then we have this adorable little seal on this like water wavy pattern. We have these really nice tiny images. Um, Mm, I'm very glad that they are, you know, putting on here some smaller images uh, on the last one they did too that are like actually good for people with uh, with the <clears throat> sorry smaller nails um, because in the past Creative Shop plates used to have like these full nail images um, and when they had like some witty um, the, the, the witty quotes on there they were pretty big um, and you know I keep my nails long but not every everybody does so I, I think. I think it's cool that there's like you know smaller images that you can put on smaller nails also on here so that was 84 um, summer themed then we have 85 that's more like a maritime but also summery thing we have a mermaid with a mer baby is that what 
mer baby are they called mer babies i don't know we have this cute little bear bear that is holding a fish uh we have waves we have some sharks in the water we have this seahorse pattern with um a seahorse with sunglasses uh we have a hippopotamus i freaking love hippos uh when i was a kid i i still have it um my first ever um like the stuffed animal that I got was like a handmade stuffed hippo that I used to, you know, snuggle on and, and basically like suck on. Like I didn't have a pacifier, I just sucked on my little hippo. And it ended up being completely naked because I sucked like all of that, you know, um, soft um, fabric off of it. I still have it. I still have that naked hippo, but that like basically started off my hippo collection. I used to collect them like crazy when I was, um, I don't know, a kid and then into my teenage years too. So I love the hippos on here, I love the cute fish, very very nice, a lot of cutesy um, and then also elegant images on this one. <clears throat> Next up we have Creative Shop 86 and here we are back at the kind of random assortment of images. They are all um, animals or animal themed. There's some weird little horsies here, some stylized kittens, um, and wow, monkeys? I don't know, stylized monkeys maybe. Uh, some doggies, and there's a unicorn I think. Yeah, it has a horn. There's another bear, there's a cute little bunny. So a lot of animals on here, so you could say, yeah, this is like an animal themed plate. Um, but anyway, I thought that the images were like really special and creative on this one. And that's, you know, the thing that I love about creative shop plates, that, it, <clears throat> that they put on their plates, n not just, you know, okay, here's an, an image of a cute kid, uh, kitten, or uh, this is like a cute dog image, but they're like so intricate and like, you know, funny on the second, uh, glance at second glance wow well, good and then we have last up creative shop 87 this is also again one of those typical creative shop um we didn't know where else to put these images on plates um so it's a mixture of kind of kawaii stuff and then we have some um like real looking doggies here and a cat and there's this cute little watermelon image so a bunch of variety but all of them are pretty cute um or you know funny and witty at second glance so that was creative shop 87 so you are going to be seeing swatch videos of these six new plates in the very very near future stay tuned for that i still have some more pretty store plates to get out of the way first uh, let's two more videos for those um and then afterwards we're gonna you know jump straight into creative shop because i can't wait to play with these in the past i've been you know always been surprised at what i can find on my plates from creative shop you know once i start swatching them um so next up we have polishes all right, for this last part of the haul, we gotta all blame Ilza because she posted a picture of one of, you know, of this brand on her Instagram. She swatched um, one of the polishes from this brand that she owns. And I just, I just, I don't know, I had to have some of these for myself. I call them butt polishes. That's uh, what I call them <laughs> because the bottles are actual butts. They are shaped like freaking butts. I love it. The brand is called Booty Bait Nail Lacquer. It's like, it's so ridiculous and it's so funny. And it's like, you know, such a, a weird thing to do to, to come up with a brand that is called Booty Bait and then have like butt shaped nail polish bottles. It's funny. It was so funny to me that I went out and got some. They are really, you know, for a indie brand. They are an indie brand. Um, <clears throat> um, at a very affordable price. The international shipping was totally okay. Um, yeah, so I got me... 10 polishes, um, five of which I'm showing you here. These are glitter polishes and then I have some metallics. I did a pass on, on those, uh, on their creams. Um, but yeah, thank you Ilza for pointing out the butt polishes uh, to me. They finally arrived so I can finally show them to you guys. And yes, I'm going to be doing a swatch video on these so you can see how the butt <laughs> works out for us. So without further ado, let's get into the booties. 
Um, yeah, I'm not gonna unbox them. These are semi pesky boxes. I learned that yesterday, as you can see here on my fingy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave them in the boxes. First up, we have this like pinky magenta glitter, which is called Fanny Pack. They also have like really, really, really funny names. Uh, so Fanny Pack. Then we have this awesome green like glitter. Uh, that I'm hoping can be used as a topper and might get opaque on its own. I would love for that to happen. Um, and this one is Crack the Whip. <laughs> so funny. I, I just can't get over this. Then we have this like teal uh, glittery one which is called Back Up. Back Up! <laughs> funny. Um, and then we have a red, a nice little red glittery polish which is called Crack a Toe. Oh! <laughs> It's cracking me up. And then last but not least, we have this gorgeous purple glitter, which is called <laughs> Hanky Spanky. I cannot believe that this brand exists and that they do polishes in, you know, booty shaped bottles and they give their polishes these kinds of names. I, I just think it's hilarious. It's really hilarious. Um, yeah. And I think this is the one that Ilsa posted because it's orange and she just loves her orange polishes so, so much. Um, yeah, so first up from the metallic finish polishes from Booty Babe Nail Lacquer, we have Sticky Buns, <laughs> which is a nice um, light teal turquoise polish with a nice shimmer <clears throat> of course since they're metallic shimmery polishes they all will have shimmer so i'm not going to repeat myself then we have a nice red which is called bring up the rear <laughs> then we have this like orangey shade like um more of a coppery orange but i'm really digging that it's called killer keister <laughs> I just, this just makes me laugh so hard. Then we have like a darker red that is kind of like, um, like a red wine, a deep wine red, which is called Tears for Rear. <laughs> Tears for Rears. <laughs> okay, and then last up we have this gorgeous purple metallic, which is called Rumble Seat. <laughs> Lord knows why. <laughs> Holy cow, I can't wait to play with these and I actually have to find a way to put them like on display on my nail racks and I don't know, I'm in my head, I'm already trying to figure out how I can put up more nail racks or how I can make my husband build more of those little, you know, shelves for me and where we're gonna put them because <laughs> we literally have no more wall space up here. I mean, I could start putting them on the other wall like over my bed, but that would be excessive, wouldn't it? Um, but anyway, I gotta, you know, figure out a new storage situation for my polishes. Um, <clears throat> and then, then again, I might have to do some de-stashing. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you were, like, interested in a de-stash, like, Instagram page or, like, shop or whatever. Um, and I might consider doing that. You know? Okay, so that was my haul slash nail mail video. Um, thanks again, Miriam. You shouldn't have. I, I didn't expect you to send me anything in return. I just, you know, I just wanted to help you out and I hope you enjoy your stamper and I can't wait for your first actual stamping design. I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Um, yeah, so that's it for today, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching and listening to me cry on camera. Uh, and yeah, I'll talk to you next time. Bye!